Hi, I'm Kelly Harride. I lead Catastrophe Research and Development in Corporate Enterprise Risk Management here at Liberty Mutual. I have a decade of experience in the insurance industry focusing on catastrophe risk and am trained as a climate scientist. So the way that, that we like to think about this is that there are different levels of scientific uncertainty that are associated with each of these economy affecting hazards. Hurricane is a really good example that actually touches all of these baskets of uncertainty. They're the things that we know are coming. They are, they are already here. The impacts are already baked in and they're baked in for several decades to come. Sea level rise being a great example of this. So, uh, sea level rise affects hurricanes by making storm surges higher and importantly making them reach further inland. So for every hurricane that comes in, the footprint of its storm surge is going to be a little bit deeper and reach a little bit further in from the coast. This is a very high confidence impact and it's something we, where the insurance industry has storm surge tools and the climate science community can bring sea level information and so we can make meaningful decisions about that today. On the other side of the coin, there's a lot of uncertainty in the science and things like hurricane frequency. So we know that hurricane frequency is likely to change in the future, but different components of that hazard may go up or down. More intense hurricanes tend to get more intense, um, but we're not quite sure what's going to happen with overall hurricane numbers, particularly once you start looking at impacts, say, on different parts of the US. Now, this is obviously a little bit more complicated than having the straight answer of, okay, I know exactly how many hurricanes there are going to be in the future, but insurers are used to operating under this model of uncertainty, of having to make decisions even when there's not a clear cut, obvious answer. So we can take those risk management tools and be able to take that apart and say, okay, well, where do we have sensitivities? Where are there going to be complications if this risk changes in a particular way. So, you know, we can use it for insurance portfolios, but we can also use it for communities. 